Welcome to After the Game Highlights with Coach Keith Edge. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Turner, Principal of Leeds High School, and welcome to another edition of After the Game Highlights. And of course we're here with yours truly, Coach Keith Etheridge, the two-time uh, actually defending state champ, and we have a lot of pressure on our back coming up this uh, this Friday night. Coach, tell us a little bit about it. Well, we got to go to Clay County again, where we lost earlier in the year, and um, they got a real good football team. You know, we're going to have to play our best game if we expect to win. Coach, last week, uh, Gordo Greenway, the Battle of the Greenway, uh, came in, very strong football team, and Coach, we came out 21-6. Tell us a little bit about the game. Uh, we established the run early. You know, uh, Chris Edwards and Ladeus Rogers had a great, great ball game. Uh, did a great job blocking up front and played probably one of our best games defensively all year. Um, had some guys really step up. Both of our cornerbacks played great football games. Um, played good up front. Didn't allow them to, you know, get much as far as um, quarterback scrambling around. Kept him in the pocket, and you know, just did a, did a good job containing their some of their explosive players. Coach, uh, from what I remember of the game, they had a lot of first and goal opportunities, and they came up with only one touchdown the entirety of the game. Talk about our defense. They, they played great. Um, like I said, you know, up front, you know, we we, we had some guys injured, so we had, we had some guys step up with Darius Burt, um, Eddie Boswell, Trayvon Strickland, you know, uh, Blake English, of course, Devin Braxton. You know, we had some guys really step up and play good, and then we put in – a cheetah package, which has our, our running backs and some, some faster guys in there on third downs, passing situations. We got a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Coach, speaking of cheetah, uh, Javier Mitchell, <laughs> very fast, uh, maybe the fastest on the team. Uh, we, were, we were without him last week, Coach. Right. Uh, kind of give us an update. Is he going to be back this week? Can we expect uh, maybe uh, him into the lineup at some point? Uh, and what was the nature of the injury? Yeah, he's he's done for the season. He's he's um, he's. You know, got a got a shoulder injury that's going to need some attention here in the near future, and we're just you know, hopefully everything works out for him. You know, of course he's still supporting us and they're still on the sidelines. So you know, um, just hate to see that happen to the young man. You know, he's got a bright future ahead of him. You know, he'll sign a scholarship on Monday. You know, we don't know where he's going yet. You know, he's I think he knows, but he's he's holding it close to the vest. So you know. The loss of him and, of course, Shock, Gary Shockley, uh, Brian Shockley, you know, uh, we've got guys step up. But I think we played harder the last two games than we have all year. Fantastic. Uh, so, steal no word. I know ESPN and some of the other uh, <laughs> more, uh, more notable uh, publications and, and sports writers will be here in attendance, uh, I'm assuming, <laughs> for this big signing day. No no idea, no maybe Auburn, Alabama, or maybe even I out think, of state, or I, how, I, what can I, we think? I think it's down to three schools, four schools maybe. Um, you got um, Tennessee, um, Mississippi State, Georgia, and Auburn. So I think those four schools are the ones who don't choose right. Fantastic. Well, I know we certainly will be anticipating on Monday as to. Southern Miss is in there too, so. Yeah. Fantastic. Who, who we may see. Coach, I'm going, to, I'm going to take us back to the Abbeville game where we had a cornerback that was thrown at and, and really kind of gave up some big plays, if, if, if you will. Yeah. However, I understand you took him to the uh, optometrist. Uh, we got some, uh, some glasses slash contacts for this young man, and they threw at him uh, against Gordo, and he did not give up a single completion the entirety of the game. Can you talk about uh, uh, Wendell Smith? Uh, we know him as Junior. Yeah, he's... He's done a good job for us all year. He's a sophomore, uh, junior, has been starting, you know, uh, for, you know, I mean, all year long. You know, he's probably 5'3", you know, 145 pounds, but, you know, he plays with a lot of passion, a lot of intensity, and uh, does a fantastic job for our, for our football team. You know, he, he, the other night, he had great coverage, and I think it, I think the, I think the contacts helped a little bit. I think the contacts <laughs> have helped. <laughs> We're seeing a little clearer these days. Uh, coach, on the offensive side of the ball, kind of switching gears, we had Ladarius Rogers, of course, and he's uh, obviously have to be one of the uh, stronger running backs in the state this year, regardless of classification. Uh, uh, probably close to 30 touchdowns on the season. Uh, coach, he had 27 carries for 199 yards and a TD, and then, of course, the uh, – I guess the, the backup running back uh, toted it for uh, uh, you know uh, for 157 yards yeah. with uh, maybe 14 uh, plus uh, carries. Yeah. 
uh, and two touchdowns. Tell me a little bit about uh, the game plan going forward offensively. Well, we always want to establish the run because it opens up other things for us. So um, those two guys have been pivotal in our running game all year long. But Ladares has over 2,000 yards already this year. Chris is inching up on 1,000. So, you know, um, that's, a, that's a lot of yards between two guys. Uh, so, and, and, you know, such good young men class, you know, come and work hard every day at practice, just like the offensive front and all the guys do. Um, but it's, it's good to see good things happen to good people, and, you know, those two guys are great young men. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm assuming that they're going to be very uh, key yeah, uh, in this upcoming <laughs> game against Clay County. Uh, and, of course, it's no secret we like to line up and smash mouth Mm -hmm. uh, three, four yards in a cloud of dirt if we have to. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's going to be very imperative that uh, we establish a running game early, uh, I would assume. Yeah, and, you know, Clay County's known for stopping the run, so it's going to be a battle of attrition Friday night. It's going to be a, a good football game. And, you know, if we can, you know, cut down on turnovers and take care of the football and, you know, um, play, you know, lead style football, and, um, it's just going to be come down to who wants it most, you know. I think the teams are pretty evenly matched. They they got you know a lot of speed. Quarterback's a real good football player, and you're always you, you worry about that because he's going to touch the ball every single play. Sure. You know so, um, but we're we're playing well right now. Kids are playing hard. They're doing what we ask them to do. And, you know uh, it's been a great year. Coach, sort of digressing from the uh, from the game, uh, the reclassifications came out on yesterday, right. and. Uh, Tell me a little bit about uh, your reaction when you first saw the uh, teams that were going to be uh, in, in, in our respective region. Um, you know, I mean, there's some good teams in there. You got Trinity, you got, um, of course, uh, Midfield, very athletic every single year. Terrence, another team that's very athletic every single year. And some teams that we don't know a whole lot about because we haven't got to you know, play them in the past. Uh, uh, Montevallo, Thorsby, you know, those guys don't know a whole lot about them. So, you know, of course, we're going as soon as this season's over with, and we'll, we'll try to collect a little film work and, and, and see what those guys have and, and see how we match up against them and what we need to do. Well, Coach, I know that uh, in talking to some people in the community and, and some other coaches, uh, they were just simply elated to know that we remain 3A, and more yeah. importantly, uh, they were licking their chops. Uh, when they found out some of the uh, schools that were going to be in this region. So uh, yeah. I, I would suspect that uh, it, all things being considered, we would have to be viewed as the, as the favorite in this region. Is that kind of your thoughts going into this? Uh, well, you know, it's just according to what, you know, we don't know what Midfield's got coming back. You know, they're second round playoff team in 4A, and Trinity got beat by Gordo right before we played them in a close ball game. So they're going to be well. They're going to be, you know, good. And they're going to be well coached. Um, like I said, I don't know a lot about the other ones. I know Taren always plays leads well. It's a big rivalry. Sure. You know, has been for a long time. So, uh, you know, I don't like to say we're a favorite one. <laughs> of course, you know, I've got a different perspective than everybody else. If I'm an outsider looking in, I say, yeah, it gotcha. probably would be. Well, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with having the bullseye on your back. Since you've been the right. coach here, coach, and I want to say this uh, publicly, that uh, in the last six years, there has not been another football program in this state to accomplish what we've accomplished since you've been the head coach uh, in a six-year block, Coach. So you have to be excited about that and what we've accomplished here at Leeds. And uh, we're certainly uh, going into Clay County with all of that experience uh, and obviously that pride that these kids uh, have uh, displayed for four years, uh, referring to our seniors. Right. Coach, just, let's just lay it on the line here. Clay County, uh, how do we feel about coming out with the W? Uh, you know, we got a good chance. You know, I mean, you, you, you get to this point, and that's what I tell the guys all the time, you get to this point, anything can happen. Just get to the playoffs, take it one game at a time. You know, and I always, we always say, if we win this game, you know, we're going to win the next, you know, just win this one first, you know. So we talk about that all the time. And, you know, it's just take it game by game, week by week, you know, and, and execute, you know, and, and just leave it all out on the field. And then you got nothing to be ashamed of at the end of the year. Coach, we were right there last game. Yeah. Uh, drove it. We were right there in the in, in the red zone, if you will, yeah. and uh, fumbled the ball. <laughs> and of course, got the ball back because right. uh, they fumbled the ball. And then right. we threw a a pick on third down, uh, yeah. marching, trying to get uh, to the end zone. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, are our kids out for revenge? You think this game? I 
I hope they got a little, a little bit of revenge on their mind, you know. Um, there's a lot more that plays into it, though, you know. We lose and it ends our season. You know, we don't want to end the season. I love the senior group we have right now. I've enjoyed having them for four years. You're talking about a group that's won 57 ball games in five years. You know, uh, that's, a, that's a remarkable number. Absolutely. A remarkable number. Um, so, you know, they, we've been to the quarterfinals for the last six years. You know, this team right here is, you know, won two state championships. This senior group's won two state championships, been to a semis, and, you know, pending this year, what, what we do this year. Um, just adds to, you know, their record and, and the things that they've accomplished since they've been here. And, you know, I've been blessed to be able to coach you know, this group of guys and, and the group that came before them and the group that came before them. So, you know, it's just been a great six years. And, you know, I haven't played a play. I haven't done anything. You know, the, the guys have, you know, changed their attitude, changed the mindset, and, and really worked their rears off to, to change the program. Obviously, Coach, you uh, an emotional uh, piece and component uh, catalyst in this situation, and uh, kids really feed off of you and the other coaches. So we're expecting – Obviously, a uh, phenomenal game uh, on, on Friday against uh, Clay County, and uh, I got a strong suspicion we're going to come out victorious on this one, Coach. Uh, as always, we certainly thank you for uh, joining us here on uh, the uh, after the game highlight show, and we'd like to thank the sponsors, of course, for have been uh, behind us all year long and, and making this possible. Uh, there's one other thing that I, I certainly want to say in leaving or in uh, closing, Coach, and that's uh, Roll, Roll Greenway. Greenway.